Hi guys, it's Mina. Thank you for coming back again. Today we are gonna do something awesome. I am working on another one of these Blick Premier wood panel, 24 by 36. This one is an inch and a half depth on the side. This is beautiful, beautiful. I just, I love these things. It's like so pretty, I almost don't want to pour on it, <laughs> but I'm going to. So yesterday I did a commission piece that just turned out amazing. So I want to play with that same technique that I worked out and um, a little bit of a different color palette. So what I am using today for colors are the Liquitex Basics. This is Thalo Blue and I have also Liquitex Basics. This is Dioxazine Purple. Now we go to Deco Art, and this is my favorite Deco Art 24 karat gold in the Americana Decor Metallics, not the little tiny jars. Then I also have their silver, again, Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics, silver, and then this one, oh, and the amethyst, excuse me, this was the whole the thing that started this thing off, was I found my jar of amethyst this morning. Such a pretty color, just beautiful. So I want to play with the light and the dark with the pearl and the solid and then definitely the gold and the silver and the blue. The pewter, I am not sure about. I did a test pour. It was kind of light. I have a feeling that stuff washes it out a lot. So I'm not even sure I want to use it, but I have it out here just in case. Um, my canvas is level. I'm very happy about this. Okay, so what I'm going to do because I have wind and sunlight is rather than put down a base coat on this, I'm going to do my pour on top of a small puddle. And then after I pour it, then I'm gonna pour a ring around it to help it slide that way so that it doesn't set up. Because if I put down a base coat and the sun hits it and the wind starts blowing, it starts setting up on the edges before I can even tilt it sometimes and it ruins the canvas. And I don't want to do that with this one because I like it. So let's begin. Um, <clears throat> my pouring medium today I had been using originally Liquitex pouring medium and then I found the Liquitex gloss medium and varnish which is one bottle and I was using that and I really really liked it and then I also got some regular pouring medium too and so today instead of doing just one I'm doing half pouring medium and half gloss medium and varnish so this is 60 grams of Liquitex pouring medium 60 grams of gloss medium and varnish and then 60 grams of the paint color and then a little bit of water depending like the the phthalo blue takes a lot more water than anything else the doxazine purple took a lot more water gold generally takes a lot more water these three were pretty good that was the pouring medium almost no water or no water and floetrol so alrighty, let's get started i'm not using my big two cup thing because i want to do multiple uh, straight pours so i'm using my little five ounce dixie cups i'm going to layer these in a dirty pour and then I'm going to pour them and then I'm going to pour the flow extender around them. So let's begin. We're going to start with the Thalo Blue. I'm going to just cover the bottom. Now I am going to put a tiny bit of the silver in now straight down into the middle because I want that to come up through the center. So the blue is going to be our center. Now we're working outwards. So think about it that way when you're trying to figure out what colors you want to use. What do you want in your center? What do you want in the color around that? So now we're going to have blue with a little bit of silver. I'm also going to put a little bit of gold in there. And then now I want to go to the dioxazine purple. I'm going to put more of that. Thank you, wind. It was not nice. And now we're going to go back to our phthalo blue again because these are all going to show up as rings around. Okay, and now this is the amethyst. Ah, you are being <laughs> uncooperative. I don't think I want to use the pewter. I just don't want to deal with it. I'm going to put a little bit more gold on top. Okay, so let's pour this. So we're going to do this about three or four or five times because I want to see what happens. And I have one here. Where is it? I had one. Did I use it? I used it. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So this is, un oh, I was going to pour a puddle. Okay. See, I'm glad I paused. So we're going to go right here. I'm going to pour a puddle and I'm going to pour the straight pour into the puddle. Okay. Here we go. 
because my cup is smaller, I don't have to be way up high. Also, the wind is blowing, so the higher up I am, the more she gets to play. <laughs> That's very pretty. I'm going to catch it. Okay, there we go. That's beautiful. I'm going to go around that with some of the phthalo blue. You see the wind is blowing already. So this way that's not going to start to set up. So we got to work quick. Okay, again, I'm going to start with a little bit of blue, not as much this time. I'm going to put a little bit of gold, a tiny bit of silver. Oh, let's look at it. Did it work? Yeah, see, there's our blue center with the silver and then the purple and the gold and the blue. Perfect. Okay, so there's the purple. We're going to go some blue again. I'm going to do a little bit more amethyst. And I'm going to put some gold in around the outside and then end with some blue. Okay, well, again, we're going to do a puddle. So we're going to pour into the puddle. To indulge her once in a while, you know. Okay. I'm gonna pour this around. So this is because I don't want to put the base coat down. If I put a base coat down, it's gonna to start to set up and dry before I can do anything. And what I'm doing is going to take a bit more time, so I want to take my time and not screw it up. See that one had more gold in the middle, that one had more silver in the middle. So, it is such a beautiful day here, and you know what's so cool? <laughs> the jackhammers have stopped working for today! Yay! <laughs> it has been interesting examining. So there's been jackhammer construction going on all around us for like the last three weeks. And it's, uh, sometimes it gets a bit much. So, okay, let's pour a little bit as a puddle over here. Yesterday I did a big one that was, uh, I did three big rings or three big pours. That's so pretty with the purple in there. I love that. Okay, here we go. And I only did three. Ooh, that's the silver, believe it or not. And it looks white. It's such a trip. Alrighty, that's pretty. All right, let's pour some blue around that. This is gonna have a lot of blue in this painting, but that's okay. Everybody likes blue. <laughs> Everybody likes blue. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit with the silver this time, and then we're gonna do some amethyst. Purple. And some gold from up high in there to mix it. And let's do some more. Blue. Okay. Little puddle. Ooh, the hawks are sick, flying around. Okay, here we go. Also, I'm also pouring it so that the center of it ends up more towards the middle of the painting rather than on the edge. So if it's more towards the middle, less likely you're going to have to tilt it off. If my center was over here, the second I tilted, it would come off. This is looking really cool. Oh, just pour a little bit around the edge here. Okay. I'm going to do one more, maybe two more cups. So if we look at this here, which one do I like better? This one with the blue and a little bit of silver, or this one with the dark blue and a little bit of gold? Or this one that's a lot of blue, and I poured the silver from really high up, you can see. Or maybe I just poured the cup up higher. So I think I want to hold my cup up higher, because I don't like this as much as this. I think this is going to look, I don't know, we'll see. It's all going to look awesome, so. Because this is, it's just the straight pour is magic. 
It really is. Oh wait. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of gold. And then I always want to pour the gold, but then when I look at it, I'm like, oh, that was too much gold. <laughs> okay. All right. A little bit more blue. A little more silver. And some amethyst on the outside this time. Okay, let's do this one over here. All right. Again, moving towards the middle. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's go a little bit around there. And I think maybe we're just gonna do one more because I don't like even numbers. So, <laughs> <laughs> you probably have enough paint at this point. This one, I'm gonna put some purple in after the blue. And then some silver. And then some more blue. Just a little bit of gold. More purple. And we're gonna end with silver. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot of silver. Okay. So let's put this one over here. And not I can't hold myself because then I won't catch the cup. Okay. So this actually feels like my mix is a little bit thicker than it has been for the last few straight pours that I've done. And it's flowing beautifully. So I don't know that it actually has to be that thin, you know? I'm gonna put more blue around the edge of that one. I just wanna finish off this cup. So again, you're, we're using this as our flow extender and I'm gonna spread it out too, so. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You know what? I feel like it needs something right there. We're gonna do one more little one. Okay, now you're getting sloppy. <laughs> All right, I want to put a little bit more blue over there on the side because I don't want to lose our cells that are pretty. And I'm just going to spread this out. Okay, we're going to just get this over the corners and spread it out. There's a lot of paint on here, so we might as well make it work. And also, this is interesting. See, this is the first two cups of the phthalo blue that I made. I mixed up a double batch in the cup and then before I added the Floetrol, I poured that into two cups. So I split it in half so it would be the same color. And then after I was done mixing my other paints, I was thinking about it. And I thought, you know, I really would rather have one more cup of Thalo Blue just in case. And apparently I didn't make it <laughs> or I put a little bit. I did actually add a little bit of black to the Thalo Blue. So to make it more navy because it was just seeming a little light for my taste. My paint looks like it's thick to me, but you know, when I drizzle it off the stick, it's not forming a mound, it's falling into the rest of the cup. So consistency wise, it seems good so far. And I'm very happy with this because it's gonna smoothly glide over everything and move easy, which is awesome. That's what you want so that you can, you know, choose what you want to keep. You don't want to have too little paint and then 
you're forced to, you know, this is what you're left with and you just have to make it work. It's much better to have a little bit more paint and be able to choose what you want to keep and what you don't. If there's something on there that you don't like, you can get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of it in the beginning. Okay. Torch it. I'm not torching the outsides. I'm just torching the inside where my four was. I don't want to do anything to encourage that base coat to start to set up yet. Okay, so that's cool. A few little cells popped up. All right, we're gonna go, I'm gonna burn myself if I leave it there. <laughs> okay, what do I like and what do I not like? I love those two. I love this one. Not crazy about this gold on the edge. So let's see if how it's moving where it wants to go. Can I stand like so I make a shadow for you or something? Is that better? So I'm just gonna roll it back and forth. So you see that edge right there? It's eating itself. I don't want that to happen. So actually I'm gonna take some no. Yes, I am. I'm gonna take some purple. And I'm going to put it right along there to encourage that to move. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, actually, just so that it has a more uniform look. Okay. So now we're going to go back this way. start to go down. So there goes that gold that I didn't like. <laughs> and we're going to go off the corner there. There's a lot of paint on here, but that's okay. I'm going to come back and stretch that top edge out by doing this part a little bit faster and then slowing down. And then I'm going to take that purple off the edge there and try to keep most of that. Okay, come back. So that's very pretty. Now I'm gonna go to the uh, that side once you switch sides with me. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Okay, we're gonna go to the right first, down there on the bottom. Nice and slow. To slow it down, just put it down a little more. I'm gonna take it back this way and open that up a little bit. We'll get that bottom corner and then I'll come back up here. Because I didn't wanna lose all that stuff. So pretty on the corner, look, the little purple with the gold, and I lost the gold. Oh well, okay. Now we're gonna go that way. Do you wanna stand over there? Can you see it? Yep. <clears throat> Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go over this edge. Okay, I'm going to come back this way a little bit. It's all right, leave them alone. Everybody's got kids. <laughs> Summer. Okay, um, I like it, but I'm not actually crazy about the fact that I can see that whole ring. I don't know. I might be crazy for thinking that it might be. Is it cool to see the whole thing or is it? Let me shrink it a little bit. That's really cool. <laughs> this is amazing right here. This part is I'm going to not hold my hands over it so I don't drip on top of it. Let me look at it from this side. Hold on. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? Should I take some of that off? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <clears throat> okay. I 
maybe we'll go up that way because I don't want to mess with that side too much so I'll take it off this way but you should switch sides with me okay we're gonna take a little bit of this this way Let's stretch it out where's the weight of my paint okay it's about here so I want to go that way I'll turn this way for you Just hanging out. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna come back. That's cool. Okay, and I'm gonna go back over there and push it this way because it's a little scrunched up here now. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My husband of awesomeness is so patient with me. Okay, what are we doing here? Are you moving? Yeah, you are. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I love this corner, and I love that corner. I like the center a lot more. I love this corner. This is kind of eh, but I don't want to stretch it too much more because I can see that amethyst is starting to look like it's either selling, trying to sell up or it's breaking. But I do want to see if I can just take this little edge of this gold off, maybe, just a tiny bit. Maybe not. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. Just like that. Okay. Come back a little bit. See how we tilt it like this? This is to encourage those cells up at the those edges because we've now stretched out all of that paint. So, I like this a lot. I think it's really cool. And that what looks like yellow oh, look how blingy it is <laughs> um what looks like yellow now is actually gold so that's going to be really neat too when it dries also so i like the the blue negative space in between actually a lot because it's keeping my colors separate also even though it was a straight pour so i'm going to torch it again now that i'm done tilting it and i'm not going to tilt it anymore after i torch it because I don't want to, if I make the, the cells come up with the torch, I don't want to break them by stretching them, which I have done countless times, which is why I'm telling you not to do it. So, popping any little air bubbles. Don't seem to be that many of us. Let's see if we can get any cells to come up. This one is beautiful. That was the first one, I think. Okay, there is only one thing that I am not crazy about, and that is right here. So, I just want to see if I can tilt that edge off just a tiny bit. If not, then I'll just suck it up. <laughs> but there's not much paint left on here. It's not moving very fast now, which is good. So if I can manage to keep that edge intact and just go off over here a little bit more come on go go there we go and i'm going to take it back it's so funny hearing my kids playing half the time it sounds like they're fighting but then i go check on them and they're having a great time <laughs> okay I'm just sort of bringing everything back to where it was before I tilted it a lot. But this is the good thing about we got rid of a lot of our extra paint early on. So now what's on there 
is still movable, but depending on how you're tilting it, you can not mess it up, which is nice. So, I'm gonna fix that with a little bit of purple. And I think we might actually be done with this because I think it's gonna start to sell up some more over time as the wind is gonna blow it and that looks pretty. I like it. Did you get a shot from over here? It's so pretty. I kind of, I'm like really tempted to stretch this out even more, but that's going to squish all of that and ruin it, so I'm not going to. I am going to take this and just, can you get a shot of her doing that roly-poly thing? No, you're not going to do it now. <laughs> The first thing they do when they come out here is roll around in the dirt. Dirt bath. So, okay. I think I am actually going to call this one done. Because I don't want to mess it up. And I like it a lot. And I said I wasn't going to tilt it after I torched it. But I didn't get that many cells. Which is okay. Because there are some there. And they're pretty. And more will probably show up. We could torch it again. Let's torch it again. When you're torching, torch from up high, not in one place. And move your torch continually. You don't want to cook your paint. You don't want to burn it. You want to gently encourage it. So there's no point in torching the areas that are solid blue because that wasn't a straight pour. That was just straight paint. But these parts, there's all sorts of hidden goodies in there. And that amethyst, come on. I know you're in there. Come out. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. There are some, see these little tiny things are starting to pop up now in the amethyst. That's really neat. The deco art paint are just amazing. Almost every single color I've used from them, I love. There's a couple that I'm not crazy about, but for the most part, spot on, man. You mix, mix that stuff up with some pouring medium and it's like, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm listing after paint. Okay, so uh, I guess that's it for this one. So this colors were, I'm glad I didn't use that pewter because it would have washed everything out. So these were Liquitex Basics Doxazine Purple, Liquitex Basics Thalo Blue, then the DecoArt Amethyst in uh, the Americana Decor Matte Metallics Amethyst, then we have our Americana Decor 24 Karat Gold in the Metallics, and what else did I have? I had Silver in the Metallics also, and then I didn't use the Pewter, but I had it mixed up out here. And it's a nice color, no offense to the Pewter, just it, w it washes everything out. I did a test pour and I didn't like, it was so pale, like you couldn't even see anything. So anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys had a great time today and enjoyed this. I sure did. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. So this is a couple of days later and it was finally dry enough to be standing up and I was in my studio late at night and I kept seeing something blinking at me out of the corner of my eye. And I finally turned and I looked and it was this beautiful 24 karat gold ribbon just shimmering and sparkling in the light. It was so pretty. And then I looked down and I saw this golden lady blessing these little children. And as I looked behind her, I saw these beautiful angel wings. And it just, it was a very profound moment for me. It really took my breath away, to be honest. Um, so I, I really love this piece and just it is very special to me. I did want to take a second and talk about the different colors and how they've darkened and deepened over the last couple of days as it dried and um, just that really pretty phthalo blue in some areas mixed with the black where it's kind of dark navy with the contrast with the amethyst and then the 24 karat gold with the with the silver color in there also. And that silver is really trippy to me because sometimes it looks very white and then in other areas it looks very pearly. And I don't know, I think that really contributes a lot to this sort of heavenly feeling that this one has. But this is Blessings and um, 
I really hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope that you experiment and you try things out because for me this one started as an idea of doing several straight pours with a solid color in between and on the background and I really like the way that that came out and you know the way that you get better as an artist is by trying new things and playing with it and seeing what you like and what creates the effects that you want so anyways thank you so much for watching and and hanging out with me i really do appreciate it and uh, if you wanted to see more of my work you can look on facebook at mina Villegas art and you can see more samples of my paintings there and you can also send me a message through that so thank you so much i hope you guys have an awesome awesome day Bye.